welcome. <laughs> Pisces, happy new year. Happy new year, Pisces. Okay, Pisces. Oh my God, this is your water and it's a, it's a year of hair. Whatever is happening and transpiring, Pisces, you are water and it is a year. This year is the year of the eye princess, so it's going to be good for you, Pisces. It is the year from the divine feminine, whatever the issue and the situation is. It is the year for the divine feminine, whatever um, the situation um, that is happening. It is a year of the divine feminine, so... Um, the divine feminine is your mother and your supporter so um, she is definitely definitely going to be helping out you Pisces in this year so that's good for you water sign um, especially you Pisces you Pisces are going to be receiving help from the divine feminine okay especially you women if you're a Pisces and you are a psychic this year is going to be extremely extremely good for you use the energies because uh, the divine feminine is here we have also the masculine feminine the Omega the Omega is here and it is going to be powerful um, because the universe and for the people who are vibrating in the fourth and fifth dimension I see this is really happening okay so ladies and gentlemen Pisces let's see what's coming out in order and my apologize I have to apologize to all um, my um, clients that was ordering the extended readings from my website I can no longer have them on my website they are all in YouTube so please become a member using the link here or the link there to become a member on YouTube and choose for the super extended whatever the issue and the situation that was transpiring please um, use the link to look for the super extended okay and that's where you can find the extended of this reading remember my readings are timeless so I am going to be setting the 2019 extended up so you guys can also because maybe the 2019 is vibrating with you guys depends on if you're vibrating in the fourth and fifth this reading will help wheel of fortune comes up for you Pisces in the month of January this is good this is luck coming for you Pisces in the month of January whatever the issue and the situation is I see you Pisces coming up with luck in the month of January in the month of February it's gonna be good happy birthdays to the Pisces um, who were born in February your psychic is going to be off chart I see luck coming up for you guys um, the energy of the eye princess is here and it's coming up and it is wonderful 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 then we have a tower moment whatever that there was I see a tower moment in March whatever this tower moment is all about this is a fire energy something is leaving your life let it go okay so whatever is happening I see something is leaving your life let it go in March in April I see you dealing with a corporation organization institute see whatever that this is and whatever that was happening this corporation institute or organization you are going to be having luck so it could be work that sort of a thing okay then I see abundance is coming in in the month of May for you Pisces May is looking good money is going to be here you are going to be financial abundant in May this this is wonderful positive alignment of energy then we see you moving forward in September so this is good Pisces them um, four months January February April and May is going to be fantastic now this is the energy of you moving forward moving moving forward in the month of June so this is a fire energy that is going to be help you to make huge jumps okay as we look at July your own energy comes up this is your lucky month um, this is so positive because you have January February April and May and July okay this is wonderful because it's your you're vibrating in your own energy vibration in July and you are going to be connecting Wow energy whatever you want to do in um, August is good go do it August is the energy of the hair and it's the energy of the magician so I see you 
receiving help in August you Pisces August is looking good now um, your energy again comes out which is the hermit um, so I see light is going to be shed on a situation whatever issue and situation is light is going to be shedding on a situation and this is good so I'm seeing luck is really coming in for you Pisces and this luck is going to bring you financial stability and this is really good as we look at the last and third quarter I see the energy of information coming in unexpected news could be coming in breakthroughs about something is coming in okay then I see success in the month of November huge success for you in the month of November whatever the issues and situation is I see huge success that is coming up in the month of November December the energy of the star Pisces congratulations you have the the year of the devil <laughs> <laughs> you guys have the hair of the devil um so but that's coming to an end so whatever negativity that was blocking you is basically coming to an end so the last three quarter is going to be a beautiful 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 i see successful i see you're in the zen moon in november december you're feeling happy i see the energy of the star and um, it is wonderful for you Pisces this year is looking good again right your best month down January February April May uh, August okay August and then you have November December okay so that is good some of you are dealing with an Aquarian Gemini or Libra person mm, I don't know let it go okay let it go all right so let's see what's coming out in January for you January going in February I see you're standing your ground so whatever is to inspire I see January going into February you are standing your ground whatever the issue and the situation is it's as if you're standing your ground um, with a situation okay as we look at uh, uh, February going into March I see you are the, you're making a decision and the decision that you're making is to let something go okay you're making a decision to let something go February going into March okay so let's see what is happening I see you have some regrets um, whatever is transpiring I see some of you have some regrets with an organization um, and um, you have some regrets with the organization you definitely have some regrets with the organization that is coming up so whatever is transpiring I see in the month of um, April going in May you have some regrets with the organization the tower moment come so you guys are going to be losing um, um, it, things in the first six months because I see in May going in June a tower moment come for you whatever that was transpiring I see May going in June a tower moment comes for you so some of you could have start a new job or it could have changed job and then um, in May June a tower moment come for you where it ends okay um, I'm saying that some of you um, Ooh, ooh, ooh. we're going to be looking and see what is coming because uh, there's two tower moment in the first six months so you got to be careful because I see that some of you start with a job and then um, and then a tower moment come okay so be aware I see you hanging in limbo you're having a lucky strike in the month of July so Pisces the month of July you're really having a lucky strike whatever the issues and the situation is in the month of July you are having a lucky strike I see transition is coming up whatever is happening transition is coming up because um, August going in September I see transition coming up and you're seeing the truth about something so August going into September I see transition coming up and you're seeing the truth about something I see that um, help is going to be coming in uh, October help is definitely going to be coming in in October whatever the issue situation is help is coming in in October going in November and uh, November you're going to be very very successful 
I see some deceptiveness that you're going to be overcoming. So some of you um, Pisces are going to be very successful over some deceptiveness that was going on. Okay, I see the end coming to deceptiveness. So whatever the issue and the situation is, there was some deceptiveness that was transpiring. I see you successfully overcoming the sun and the star together November and December so whatever the deceptiveness that was at play I see you Pisces successfully um, coming over this deceptiveness that was transpiring so the end of deceptiveness because some um, deceptiveness was going on and I see an end. I see you found out. I see they found out what was happening and transpire. So I see um, in the month of October, going in November, I see some deceptiveness finally come to an end, okay? And you're successful over the deceptiveness that was at play. So let's see what else is coming up for the Pisces. Pisces uh, um, um, 7 and 16 three and, and and 12 7 and 16 3 and 12 okay 7 and 16 3 and 12 uh, 77 whatever you decide to do in January February or April May is the right thing you're on the good part <coughs> whatever you decide to do November December yes you are on the right part okay so this is good all right, so emotion, positive emotion is coming in in January. So whatever is happening, I see the Wheel of Fortune bringing back happiness and joy in the month of January. And this is good. So happiness and joy is coming back in the month of January. All right. In the month of February, I see positive. I see you're really communicating. I see positive alignment of energies is coming in whatever that was happening i see you are balancing out and <coughs> positive alignment of energy is really coming up okay where the energy where communication and your understanding what is really happening the blocks are being lifted pisces so in the month of march whatever blocks that was there is now lifted so some of you Pisces was dealing with some blocks it is now lifted okay then we see you are having a friend in an organization and you have some regrets so you could be at work and you develop a friendship and you have some regrets all right because it didn't work out in your favor I see news coming in of financial abundance in the month of May so you could be having a payout in the month of May I see news coming in so you could have had a friend in an organization because I see you have some regrets so you could have had a friend at work and it didn't work out and I see you having regrets Multiple opportunities are going to be coming for you in June. Whatever is happening in transpiring, I see multiple opportunities coming for you in June. I see peace. You're going to finally have peace within you in August. So whatever changes you make in June is going to bring in a peace for you in August. I see... Um, uh, in, Aug in July... Peace is going to come. In August, you're going to be very successful, extremely successful. Whatever that was transpiring, I see a tall moment. And you're going to be extremely successful in the month of August. So peace come in July and success come in August. Then I see the end to a deceptive. You have released yourself out of a deceptive situation that was transpiring. Okay? And, and karmatic... Um, situation is over a very karmatic situation is over okay then i see conflicts you are going to be having some conflicts coming up um whatever some unexpected conflicts is going to come up in the month of 
October. In the month of October, some unexplainable uh, conflicts is going to come up in the month of October. Jealousy um, is going to be, there is um, a third party, but you're going to be successfully overcoming this third party. Um, uh, jealousy, lies, it's not really third party. Yeah, it's a woman, it's a third party. But you're going to be um, successfully overcoming this third party. Whatever that is transpiring, I see you're going to be successfully overcoming this third party. Luck is going to be there in December. So whatever is transpiring, there was some deceptiveness at play. And this deceptiveness for some of you, if you were in a relationship, there could have been a third party. There was some cheating, but you're going to be successfully overcoming this situation. Okay. So there could have been a third party. There was some cheating and you're going to be definitely overcoming this situation because your luck is in December, 2020. So you have the star and the luck. Um, in December 2020 this is wonderful this is positive good alignment for energy whatever is happening and transpire very very good alignment for energy that is coming up for you Pisces okay so beautiful you have the star twice so that is it so your numbers is going to be um, oh, 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 oh your numbers is going to be 16 12 16 12 Ooh, 17 you have luck i see you're going to be successful over a very deceptive play um by a a very deceptive play i see people are helping you to resolve this situation I see people are helping you to resolve the situation. So whatever that was happening and transpired, I'm seeing a very deceptive play that you're going to be overcoming, okay? A luck, December, December and January is your two most luckiest month. December, uh, December and January. So you start here being lucky and you end up here being lucky, Pisces. So let's see, what is your animal totem? That is coming out. I see the nightingale, which is good. I see the nightingale and the frog. So you guys are having the energy of the nightingale and the frog. Whatever the situation is, whatever is transpiring, the energy of the nightingale and the frog is here. So lies and, de and deceptiveness. Um, the snake is... Uh, a third party cheating that was going on um, you Pisces are going to be finding that out a third party and cheating that was going on okay oh 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 the frog and the frog is a water energy whatever is transpiring the frog is a water energy and the nightingale is an air energy. So let's look at the water energy, the energy of the frag. Clearing, cleansing, healing. Wow, Pisces. So I can see this as a year. So the frog is clearing, cleansing, healing. The frog and the water element are almost inseparable. The frog spent its time first month of life entirely within um, this healing element and then merges to rest on land but no matter how earthly the frog becomes it needs for cleansing and rejuvenation is regularly frogs tend to become overworked and undernourished so it's vital that such sensitive creatures practice self-care this card serve as a reminder that water helps cleansing Forgive and release. Time to drive in. Frogs aren't not the carrier of every load, okay? So, when in balance, clear energies and enthusiastic for life. When out of balance, defeated, running and empty. To bring in balance, 
lake river ocean water or bath okay and you are really Pisces this 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 frog energy is really a Pisces frog energy trust me I know Pisces and this is really a Pisces um, frog energy okay so the nightingale is an air element um, the nightingale is really an air element and the nightingale is here and I think in this February the energy of the nightingale is in February so fearless voice speech communication or songs the songs of the nightingale is otherworldly this simply brown bird almost untouchable among the flashes plunge of other birds transform its listening to the rims of poetry and nightmare energies is with us when we write compose and especially when we sing it reminds us that music heals the deepest wound this card indicates a need to open the bridge between the heart and the voice is there something you need to say how long has it been since you sang turn it up write it down and let it go when in balance um, sing speeches freely with kindness when out of balance shy lump in the throat um to bring you in balance music so listen to music or sing music okay and this is good ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. the first chakra you're going to learn to balance out your first chakra okay so whatever is transpiring you need to call upon archangel gabriel to touch open it and balance out your first chakra whatever the issue is the situation that is transpiring balancing out the first chakra is going to be the most important thing that is going to be transpired so whatever it is and what you need you gotta um, work on your first chakra okay and that is your base chakra natural nurture 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 you pisces needs to go and walk in nature okay nature is going to be very very important whatever is transparent and happening you have to learn and go and walk in nature as you walk in nature this is going to help you in this year okay wow pisces meditation archangel jovial Archangel Jovial. Whatever the issue and the situation that is transpiring, we have meditation. Archangel Jovial is coming up. So whatever that was transpiring and happening, you have the energy of Archangel Jovial coming up. Whatever the deceptiveness that was happening, I see you're going to go within and you're going to be balancing out this. So whatever the situation that has transpired, I see the energy of Archangel Jovial that is um, going within and balancing out things. And I just want to understand what is going on. And I want people to understand that meditation is the only key to get you through this year. Okay. It's going to be good to go within. I love you guys so much it's wonderful it's amazing whatever the issue is i see that you guys are going to be rocking out this year i see you're going to be rocking out this year and this is going to be good so i see you pisces are really rocking out this year and making it um big okay so whatever is transpired I see you really rocking out this year, making it extremely big. I want to say namaste. I love you guys. Remember to pick up the extended. You have to um, um, join and uh, um, use the super chat because all of these year readings are on the super shop. Namaste. Mm -hmm.